Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, won't you please join us and rise as we honor America with the national anthem. The anthem will be performed by the Missouri Western Symphonic Winds under the direction of Dr. Lee Harrelson. <laughs> Ceremony of Missouri Western State University. I am Dr. Elizabeth Kennedy, President of Missouri Western State University, and I am so pleased that you all are able to join us as we recognize the achievements of our students. Of all the things that I get to do as college president, this is by far my favorite. Looking out and seeing the excited faces of you, our graduates, and your families, friends, and loved ones is really special to me. And I'm very honored to be part, or to share a small part in recognition of your accomplishments. It is now my honor to introduce the platform party to you. Beginning on the platform to my right or your left, we have State Representative Brenda Shields, whom I will introduce shortly, Dr. Laura Reynolds, our Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs and Interim Dean of the Graduate School, Mr. Daryl Morrison, Vice President of Finance and Administration, Dr. Melissa Mace, Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, Ms. Kelly Douglas, our General Counsel, Ms. Becky Dunn, our Chief Communications Officer, Ms. Mr. Mark Archambault, Vice President of University Advancement and Executive Director of the Missouri Western State University Foundation, Dr. Joel Heyer, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Director of the Honors Program, and Dr. Mark Manganero, Interim Dean of the College of Business and Professional Studies. And to my left, we have, beginning with the members of the Missouri Western State University Board of Governors, we have Governor Rick Eversold, our Chair, Governor Kayla Schoolnover, our Vice Chair, Governor Lee Tiemann, Governor Lisa Norton, Governor Bob Woolman, and Governor Al Landis. Also on my left are Mr. Chris Dunn, the Chief of Staff, Dr. Ed Taylor, the President of Missouri Western's Faculty Senate and Associate Professor in the Department of Social Studies and Humanities, Dr. Lamonte Hunter, a graduate of the class of 1999 and currently President of the Missouri Western State University Alumni Association, and finally, Naja Khan, a student who is graduating today and who was selected to provide the student address to you all. Won't you please join me in welcoming everyone to our platform party. It is now my honor to introduce our special guest speaker. Representative Brenda Shields serves parts of Buchanan and Platte counties in the Missouri House of Representatives, representing District 11. Prior to serving in the legislature, Representative Shields worked for the Quaker Oats Company in St. Joseph for more than 17 years. After closure of that company, she followed her passion for service 
and entered Missouri's Alternative Teacher Certificate Certification Program and taught business education in the St. Joseph School District. In 2006, she was elected by, or she was selected by a community board to serve as the president and CEO of the United Way of Greater St. Joseph. Representative Shields is a graduate of the University of Missouri Columbia and lives in rural Buchanan County with her husband, Charlie. They have two married sons, Brant and his wife, Mary, and Bryce and his wife, Allison. Representative Shields was first elected to the House of Representatives in November of 2018 and was recently elected to her third term of office, which begins this January 4th in 2023. She is chair of the House Committee on Higher Education and serves on the very powerful House Budget Committee. In the legislature, Representative Shields has been honored and is known for her passion around the issues of early childhood education and workforce development. We are so fortunate because she is a passionate advocate for Missouri Western and for her district. Please join me in welcoming Representative Shields. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy, for that very kind introduction. And it is an incredible honor to be here today to share this day with all of you. Gosh, my heart is just so warm. I want to say congratulations to the graduates, to the parents, to the spouses, to the friends, to the family, and to the faculty. Today is an incredible accomplishment, and the path that brought you here had many challenges, moments of joy, and stories that you will remember for a lifetime. I know that you're feeling a lot of emotions today. I know you're excited, you feel relief, maybe just a teensy bit of anxiousness, but one common emotion that I know that all of you are feeling today is pride, and it's one that you should feel, and you need to give yourselves a round of applause. So when I was asked to give this commencement speech, I began to reflect on my own college graduation, I hate to say, 38 years ago. I remember the arena. I did graduate from Mizzou, but it looks much like yours today because it was filled with black and gold. I remember my parents and friends sitting in the audience being very proud. I remember sitting with my friends, those that I made through going to class, those that I worked on class projects with, and maybe just a few that I had went to parties with. But I also remember my advisors smiling really big when I crossed the stage. But what I do not remember, I do not remember who the commencement speaker was, and I certainly don't know what they said. But I do know that my chances of being memorable day are quite small, and I will try to make this this commencement speech as painless as possible. But I do hope that I can send you away with one or two pieces of advice that you will take with you as you go out into this world and into your next phase of life. So people often ask me, did you always plan to run for elected office? And that question really makes me laugh. Back when I graduated in 1984, I was just excited to have a job. My plan didn't go much past finding a place to live, earning a paycheck, and to be quite honest, marrying my fiance, which I'm happy to say is still my husband. I never imagined my journey would lead me to run for office. My 22-year-old self would have never, ever taken that risk. See, my parents never talked about taking a risk. I always watched my father to be very steady he had the same job for 40 years. He kept that until he retired. So when I called my father in my late 20s and asked for advice, I was really surprised with what he had to say. I called my father about an opportunity that, to be honest, was really pretty risky. And when I asked him what he thought, he said, Brenda, take a risk. I never took a risk in my life, and I have regretted it for the rest of my life. I was shocked. My father always seemed content. I never saw him act like he regret regretted anything. He was always so steady. But his statement changed my life. 
Nothing in this life is worthwhile without taking a risk. And I want to repeat that again. Nothing in this life is worthwhile unless you take a risk. Nothing. Now, taking risk is not for the faint at heart. You must have certain core values to be a, a successful risk taker. You must be resilient, a hard worker, flexible, perseverant, and have a servant's heart. These are all values that my parents instilled in me even though they weren't risk takers. And I have used them, developed the, these core values my entire life. So Dr. Kennedy alluded to this. I was recruited to St. Joseph by the Quaker Oats Company. And I moved all my belongings to St. Joseph on a Friday before my start date on Monday. And then I went home to spend the weekend with my parents and I was watching the news. And on the news they mentioned something was happening in St. Joseph. So I turned up the volume. Now when I was moving in that day, it rained all day when I was moving into my apartment, but I didn't think much about it. But on the news, it said that St. Joseph was experiencing a flash flood. The town, a lot of the town was underwater. So I was listening closely and the phone rang and it was a Quaker Oats company. And they told me I no longer had a job, that the plant was flooded and that there was no need for me to come to work on Monday. I sat there and wondered how in the world was I going to make the payments on the car that I just purchased. But on Sunday evening, everything changed. They called, they said, we think we have a job for you. Why don't you come up here and make sure you're on time? So I wanted to let you know that when I accepted the job, I was gonna wear a dress to work. And I know none of you guys carry briefcases, but I was gonna wear a dress, I was gonna carry a briefcase, because I had just graduated with a degree in supply chain management and I was supposed to be a planner for the company. But instead, they told me to wear muck boots and jeans, so I had those on. They handed me a mop and a shovel and we got to work recovering the plant from the flood. It took months of 12 hour days, seven days a week to get the plant up and operational and for me finally to be able to wear that dress to work. This was not what I expected, and it was not what I had signed up for. But fortunately, my parents taught me to be flexible, resilient, and perseverant. Now, I share that story with you today because every single one of you share an almost exact story. When you started at Missouri Western, you never expected COVID in 2020. You never expected the dorms to be shut down, and you never expected for all in-person classes to be canceled. It was not what you expected, and it was not what you signed up to do. But you were flexible, resilient, and you persevered to be here today, part of the graduating class of 2022. You have already demonstrated three of the five important uh, values of being a risk taker, and you're right, that deserves a round of applause. For 17 years, I worked for the Quaker Oats Company until my career did an unexpected 180 degree turn. Quaker closed its facility in St. Joe and I took a risk and refocused my career in a new direction. I decided to make this an opportunity to make my career one of service to others. So I found myself in the classroom right here at Missouri Western, learning my alter earning my alternative teaching certificate. And while at the same time, teaching classes to students in the St. Joseph School District. I remembered I was learning a new career at the age of 40. It was hard work, and with two small boys at home, I relied on my friends and family, like many of you have had to do to make it through each day. Balancing family, work, and school to reach your goal of a college degree demonstrates, once again, another key value of a risk taker. You are a hard worker. I know that I want to thank my husband who is here with me today for all of his support during that time. And I know that you would like to thank your families too for the support they gave you so you can be here today. So let's give our families and our spouses and our friends a round of applause. So right now we know that you possess four of the five key values it takes to be a risk taker. 
The last and most important key value is service to others. Some of you might wonder why service to others is a key value to be a successful risk taker, but I am telling you that Missouri Western would not have a center for service if it wasn't an important key value. Service teaches us empathy, kindness, teamwork, a sense of community, and it develops well-rounded leaders. It is hard to be a risk taker without being a well-rounded leader. So in 2006, I took another risk and I made another 180 degree turn in my career and I was selected to be the CEO of the United Way of Greater St. Joseph. I had been volunteering in this community for 18 years and service to others is one of my core values. But this change in careers wasn't easy. To be honest, I was really good at being a teacher and starting all over again was really scary. But as I talk about the United Way, I see several of you nodding and smiling because I know that many of you have engaged in their work. You have stuffed their bags for success by six. You've engaged in Missouri Western's day of service. You've gone in and read to students in the school or if you've collected money for their annual campaign. So you too possess the values of service to others. But just like all the other values, service to others value doesn't end when you graduate it must be practiced often. No matter where you begin your career, you need to seek out volunteer opportunities. Not only will you develop friendships and learn new skills, you will become a well-rounded leader. But I also promise you that your heart will be full by giving to others. But what I've learned with age is taking risks doesn't get any easier. I retired from the United Way to fulfill a promise that I made to my dad. I promised him I would take care of my mom through her end of life journey. Towards the end of the journey, she asked me, so Brenda, what's your next big thing? I said to her I didn't know and it really wasn't what I wanted to discuss at the time. She nodded, she understood, she took my hand and she said, you have to promise me that you will get back into the arena. So in 2018, people started asking me if I would run for state representative. And my initial thought, that is way too big a risk for me. But I found the courage. I remembered what my mom had said, and I put my name on the ballot. It is my pleasure serving all of you in the Missouri legislature. And I am thankful that my parents taught me, even though it was later in life, that it was important to be a risk taker and the five core values because I have learned that those that serve the best have mastered the five core values. Being a risk taker. Remember, it's flexibility, hard work, resilience, perseverance, and service to others. Today, you not only graduate with your degree, but you also graduate with the basics of the five core values of being a risk taker. Put these values to work develop them, and put them into practice every day. Engage not only in your work, but share your time, your talents, and your treasures with your community. Our country needs you to overcome your fears and find the courage to be a risk taker. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Go forward, do good, never be discouraged, and never hold back because if you don't take risks, you will never go forward. Thank you for letting me be here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Shields, for that inspiring message. That was wonderful. Today, 
we acknowledge the accomplishments of 245 undergraduate students and 33 graduate students who completed the requirements of their degrees this fall semester. This graduating class include, uh, comes from 15 states, including Missouri, the neighboring states of Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, and Illinois, but also from as far away as Arizona, California, Colorado, Indiana, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Nevada, Ohio, Texas, and Wisconsin. And yes, that was in alphabetical order. We're also proud of our international students hailing from Australia, China, Colombia, India, Mexico, Myanmar, the Philippines, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, and Vietnam. Members of this graduating class, you have excelled in the academic studies, presented original research at regional, national, and international conferences. You've performed in concerts, showcased creative works in a variety of venues, and completed countless hours of service in the community and the region. You've served your fellow students as leaders of student government and student organizations, and the university as invaluable student employees in all areas across campus. Through your many talents and skills, you have contributed much to Missouri Western State University. And from here, we will all watch your next adventures with a great deal of pride. At this time, we will recognize students who are graduating with academic honors. 63 students from this graduating class have shown particular distinction in their academic studies and are graduating with academic honors. They are wearing a gold stole over their academic regalia. This recognition is also reported on their transcripts and will be on their diplomas. Their names are in the program, beginning on page 16, and we'd like to recognize them now. So, will those students who are graduating cum laude please stand? who are graduating magna cum laude, will you please stand? You may be seated. And now, will students graduating summa cum laude please stand? These graduates have achieved the highest ranking level of academic honors. Congratulations. Today, sure, why not? <laughs> Today, we also recognize those individuals who are graduating with general studies honors. Now, these undergraduates have completed all of the requirements for Missouri Western's honors program including completing the required courses and maintaining a high grade point average. In addition to honors section of regular classes, they have completed several theme-based multidisciplinary classes specifically created for the program. Their achievements are noted in today's commencement program and by the silver medallions they are wearing. Will all those who have achieved general studies honors please stand? You may be seated. It is also our pleasure to recognize graduates who have served our country through their military service. They are wearing red, white, and blue honor cords in honor of their unwavering commitment to both our nation and their academic studies. Will graduates who are veterans, active military, or ROTC please stand so we may thank you for your service. You may be seated. Finally, 
we want to recognize another important group of our graduates today. Missouri Western proudly serves first-generation college students and recognizes those students with a black stole featuring the Missouri Western State University first-generation student label. Will graduates who are the first in their family, their immediate family, to graduate from college please stand. Thank you, you may now be seated. The best learning comes from the best teachers. And Missouri Western takes great pride in knowing that we have outstanding faculty members. We recognize their commitment to creating learning moments both inside and outside of the classroom. It is with great pride that I ask all faculty in attendance to stand so that we may now publicly recognize your very important contributions to the success of these graduates. Thank you, you may be seated. Likewise, Missouri Western recognizes that every employee is an educator and plays a vital role in the educational experience of our students. I would now ask that all staff members stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. At this time, we will present the candidates who are receiving post-baccalaureate certificates and master's degrees. The master's degree is the highest non-honorary academic degree awarded by Missouri Western State University. Will the candidates please rise? President Kennedy, these students have met all of the requirements of the faculty and the Board of Governors for the following degrees. Master of Applied Science, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science in Nursing. They have been certified by the Registrar and are entitled to the degrees as indicated. As Provost and Interim Dean of the Graduate School, I take great pleasure in presenting you these candidates and recommend that their respective degrees be conferred at this time. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Missouri Western State University, and upon the recommendation of the Provost, Deans, and Faculty of Missouri Western, I hereby confer upon each of you the designated graduate degrees for which you have been certified. Congratulations, you may be seated. And now we will present the graduates for undergraduate degrees, after which President Kennedy will confer the degrees. You ready? Will the candidates for associate degrees please rise and remain standing? Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise and remain standing? President Kennedy, these students have met all of the requirements of the faculty and the Board of Governors for the following degrees. Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of General Studies, Bachelor of Music Education, Bachelor of Musical Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Education, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Technology, and Bachelor of Social Work. They have been certified by the Registrar and are entitled to the degrees as indicated. As Provost and the Vice President of Academic Affairs, I take great pleasure in presenting you these members of the graduating class of the winter of 2022, and I recommend that their respective degrees be conferred at this time.
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Missouri Western State University and upon recommendation of the provost, deans, and faculty of Missouri Western, I hereby confer upon each of you the designated undergraduate certificates, associate, and baccalaureate degrees for which you have been certified. Congratulations, you may be seated. In an age-old tradition, graduates who have earned master's degrees will receive a hood, which represents the attainment of that degree. The interior silk lining of the hood displays black and gold, the colors of Missouri Western State University. The opening of the hood is trimmed in velvet in the color associated with the student's academic field of study. The specific color representations are listed and appear in your commencement program. Assisting with the hoods will be faculty members from each of our graduates' master's degree program. Will the candidates for master's degrees please come forward, and will the respective faculty members please take their places with their students? Afra Big. Cameron Eugene Hefner, Master of Business Administration, General Business. Mitchell Lee Weaver, Master of Business Administration, General Business. <laughs> Esther Guimas Hernandez, Master of Business Administration, General Business. <laughs> Alec Stephen McGehee, Master of Business Administration, General Business. <laughs> Aubrey May Baggett, Master of Science in Nursing, Healthcare Leadership. Lindsay Michelle Calvert, Master of Science in Nursing, Healthcare Leadership. Andrew Dale Charles, Master of Science in Nursing, Healthcare Leadership. Sarah Rose Gillies, Master of Science in Nursing, Nurse Educator. <laughs> Heather Nicole Caton, Master of Science in Nursing, Healthcare Leadership. Lindsay Beth Panamboza, Master of Science in Nursing, Nurse Educator. Adrian Marie Wymore, Master of Science in Nursing, Healthcare Leadership.
Emily Ann Olson, Master of Applied Science in Assessment, Differentiated Instruction. Sandra K. Gregory, Master of Applied Science in Assessment, TESOL. Brendan Jean Smith, Master of Applied Science, Forensic Investigations. Jalen Marie Reeder, Master of Applied Science, Forensic Investigations. Haley Renee Woods, Master of Applied Science, Forensic Investigations. Forensic Investigations. <laughs> Hannah Marie McCarville, Master of Applied Science, Forensic Investigations. <laughs> Liam J. Nevin, Master of Applied Science, Sport and Fitness Management. Sammy Clara Bunch, Master of Applied Science, Sport and Fitness Management. Morgan Grant, Master of Applied Science, Sport and Fitness Management. Gavin Alexander Brown, Master of Applied Science, Sport and Fitness Management. Whitney Sky Flaska, Master of Business Administration, General Business. Gabrielle Michelle Arasmith, Master of Business Administration, General Business. Kobe Alexander Cummings, Master of Business Administration, General Business. A.J. G. Creighton, Master of Business Administration, General Business. <laughs> Carrie Elaine Garcia, Master of Business Administration, General Business. Once again, congratulations to our graduate students. And now I'm honored to ask the undergraduate class of 2022 to come up and accept your diplomas. Chloe Cox, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. <laughs> Eliza Grooms De Silva, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. <laughs> Michael Patrick Dune, Bachelor of Science in Administration, Accounting, Cum Laude. Lucas M. Maple, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Finance, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Tyler James Ruschoff, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. Janice Myers, 
Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Deja Marie Stalder, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Marketing. Caitlin Marie Joe, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Marketing. Brady E. Griffin, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Marketing. Jamie Nicole Cox, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Haley L. Woodbury, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Marketing. Clarina Elizabeth Bowers, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education. Caitlin Brooke Hill, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education. Gabriella Mariana Rustizzi, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Tyler Ray Jenkins, Certificate, Legal Assistant, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Lauren Michelle Stafford, Certificate, Legal Assistant, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Isabel Rose Melita, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management, Summa Cum Laude. Colby Sheldon King, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Finance, Cum Laude. Brady Albert Strait, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management and Supply Chain Management. Abdul Aziz Yassin Malawi, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Supply Chain Management. Abdul Majid Yassin Malawi, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Finance. Ashton Nicole Duncan, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education. Shelby Ray Myers, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education, Cum Laude. Rachel Ann Stroud, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education. Anne Elizabeth Thomas, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Alicia Marie Beckley, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jet Ashton Trimmer, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Finance. Colton Jameson Holdsworth, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Finance. Jeffrey Nicholas Schultz, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Marketing. Brianna Ray Wright, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude. Caitlin Nicole O'Neill, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. Mallory Grace Gertner, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education. Rayleigh Anna Lance, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education. Mercedes K. Lynn Zion, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Finus Sanders III, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Technology. <laughs> Richard Evan Clark, 
Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Noah Dean Price, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Finance. P.J. Braun, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. Victoria Devon Newlove, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Mackenzie Faye Morgan, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Emily Catherine Williams, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Samara Marie McKellar, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education, Cum Laude. Alyssa Morgan Goodearl, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Accounting, Cum Laude. Carla Del Socora Kowe Tlapal Koyoa, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Accountant. Grace Catherine Kapler, Bachelor of Science in Education, Elementary Education. Sydney Brianna Jean Schmo, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Kirby Renee Steiner, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Kristen Michelle Venneberg, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management, Magna Cum Laude. Cindy Sue McCourt, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education. Amanda Ann Alexander, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Accounting. Jessica Nicole Hodges, Certificate Legal Assistant, Associate of Science Legal Assistant, Summa Cum Laude. Devin Lee Guerrero, Bachelor of Science, Construction Engineering Technology. Chase Michael Marsh, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Supply Chain Management. Tyler Anthony Jorgensen, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Accounting. Samantha Ellen Wood, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Austin Blake Sollers, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Finance. Victoria Rose Barrett, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management and Marketing, Magna Cum Laude. Christopher John Algren Rudowski, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Naya Khan, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. <laughs> Madison Grace Gray, Bachelor of Science and Business Administration, Accounting. Deshaun James Merritt, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. Juliet Marie Diaz, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Connor R. Peters, Bachelor of Science and Business Administration, Marketing, Summa Cum Laude. Kirsten M. Wilson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. 
Grant Robert Thompson, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Leslie Giselle Felix, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education, magna cum laude. Cheryl K. Maybrier, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education. Haley Dawn McKee, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, cum laude. Caitlin Leonardo, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Anaya Kalor, Bachelor of Science, Construction Engineering Technology. Zachary R. Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Daniel Sage Carnes, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Tyler Shane Meadows, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, Cum Laude. Rachel L. Mott, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Addie J. Kroll, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Summa Cum Laude. Kelsey Lee Berkey, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude. Chloe Anna Rose Harris, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Ellie Sarah Twombly, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Summa Cum Laude. Alexandria Marie Hovey, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Magna Cum Laude. Sophia Lucille Vaughn, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude. Riley Elizabeth Binder, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude. Lauren Alexa Mills, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education. Matea Caitlin, or Kaylin Gilbert, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, Cum Laude. Kiara Mahela Husky, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education. Tyler John Law, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Nicholas Patrick Allen, Bachelor of Science, Wildlife Conservation and Management. <laughs> Teresa S. Castle, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. <laughs> Tariq Stewart, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Management. Tessa Lynn Callahan, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education. Amanda Brooke Rader, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education. Hallie Aaron Wilmus, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education. Addison Nicole Crow, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education. Matthew Tice O'Callaghan, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, Magna Cum Laude.
Tyson Alexander Koch, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Cum Laude. Ethan Allen Birch Bartram, Bachelor of Science, Recreation Sport Management. Marissa Lynn Cecile Gretzi, Bachelor of Science, Wildlife Conservation and Management. Colleen Rose Many, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Caitlin D. O'Callaghan, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Danny Allen Bullock, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. G. Brent Garrett, Bachelor of Science in Technology, Custom Major. Bailey Elizabeth Harris, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Ashley Michelle Irwin, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Elizabeth Jane Hendren, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Hai Huang Li, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Grethel Agat, Subing Subing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude. Lily Parr, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Esther Far Chin Parr, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Garrett Morgan Jackson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Hunter Allen Holifield, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Kaylee Ray Etherton, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Lauren Ashton Miller, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Delaney Grace Worstel, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Rachel Suzanne Denny, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Miranda Jade Swearingen, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude. Seth Joseph Taxis Nelson, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. John William Sanders, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Summa Cum Laude. Hope Mackenzie Corkins, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Catherine Marie Bauer, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. <laughs> Malia Arlene Johnson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. <laughs> Shannon. Kelly Pirtle, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Kirsten Nicole Huss, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude. Haley Page Lewis, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Sydney Lynn Kipp, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. <laughs> Nayeli Elizabeth Romo, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. <laughs> T. 
Tiani Michelle Walker, Bachelor of Science, Natural Science, Chemistry. Tylen B. Wallace, Bachelor of Science, Recreation, Sport Management. Cameron James Ravenel, Bachelor of Science, Recreation, Sport Management. Destry Lewis Sturgis, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Recreation, Sport Management, summa cum laude. Anthony Christopher Rademan, Bachelor of Science, Wildlife Conservation and Management. Sydney Marie Stigel, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Abigail Lee White, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Abby Catherine Blessing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Sydney Leanne Bowles, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Olivia Marie Orff, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Reese Everly, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude. Allison Brooke Lorton, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Jerry C.M. Vermillion, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Bethany Ray Ann Standiford, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Haley Ray Myers, Bachelor of Science, Population Health Management. Cassie Marie Ward, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Lindsay Anita Miller, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Riley J. McNeely, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Peyton Michael Sperling, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, Magna Cum Laude. Brady Ryan Holden, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, Cum Laude. Haley Kaylin Hope Falk, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Kim D. Hall, Bachelor of Science in Social Work, Social Work. Malia Marie Clark, Bachelor of Science in Social Work, Social Work and Sociology. Brandy Nicole Ayala, Bachelor of Science in Social Work, Social Work. Brooke Nicole Rondeau, Bachelor of Science in Social Work, Social Work, Cum Laude. Hannah N. Williams, Bachelor of Science in Social Work, Social Work. Grace Hannah Myers, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics. Eugene Kim, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education. Sandra Dawn Pennick, Bachelor of Science, Economics. Michael Ben Conwell, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Digital Animation, Cum Laude. 
Kalissa Noel Broyles, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Digital Animation. Elizabeth Nishé Neal, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design, Magna Cum Laude. Montana Jolyn Baker, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Tanner Hare, Bachelor of Science, History. <laughs> Kenneth Thompson, Bachelor of Science, History, Education. Lauren Olivia Kush, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design, Cum Laude. Emily Grace Hill, Bachelor of Science, Sociology. Kyron Elise Peabody, Bachelor of Science in Music Education, Music. Paige Mackenzie Allen, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. Kyler Aaron McNeil, Bachelor of Science, History. James McDonald, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Digital Animation. Andrew, Andrew Charles Lowe, Bachelor of Musical Arts, Musical Arts. Caitlin Elizabeth Morant, Bachelor of Science in Music Education, Music, Magna Cum Laude. Zachary Kyle Oliver, Bachelor of Music, Music, Summa Cum Laude. Aliyah Carmen Ali, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Digital Animation. Austin Willis, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. Sydney Marie Ingram, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art. Paige Alexis Burnett, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art. Cohen Adler Hamid, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Cum Laude. Abigail McKinsey, Manville, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Digital Animation. Sarah E. Bowen, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Digital Animation. Jessica Corinne Brush, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Madison Beth Rowland, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Olivia Catherine Duke, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Alyssa Dawn Irwin, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nursing. Braxton Lloyd Pope, Bachelor of Science, History. McKaylee Cora Reinhardt, Bachelor of Science, Technical Communication, Cum Laude. Erica Lauren White, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. Michaela Denise Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Psychology.
Nylesia Brielle Burley, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Joshua Raymond Rencher, Bachelor of Science, Economics. Everett John Potvain, Bachelor of Science, Economics. Kristen Stark, Bachelor of General Studies, General Studies. Spencer J. Hendricks, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Dylan J. Hay, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Digital Animation. Let's once again congratulate the Missouri Western State University Class of 2022. Dr. Melissa Mace, Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, and it is my privilege today to introduce our Missouri Western student speaker, Nyjah Khan. When Nyjah was just four years old, she and her parents fled war-torn Sudan. As the oldest of six children, she and her family ultimately settled in Middle Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. Today, she is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology, but her journey at Missouri Western continues. She's been accepted into the Missouri Western State University's Forensic Investigation Master's Program for the coming spring semester. While on campus, Nyjah participates on the STEP team, but her real passion lies with helping others and being present in her community. She has served on the board of the YWCA and is currently working as a case manager at the St. Joseph Youth Alliance, assisting youth in overcoming their barriers. In addition, Nyjah teaches English to non-English speakers through the St. Joseph School District. Please join me in welcoming Nyjah Khan. Thank you, Dr. Mace, for that introduction. Good afternoon. I want to start out by thanking everyone who made it possible for the graduates to get to this day. You're an essential part in our stories, and we truly are appreciative of your support, because no one can do life alone. I personally am truly grateful for the love and support of my family, my friends, coworkers, church family, and my community. So thank you. I'm honored and humbled to be standing here today because I was not supposed to make it this far. My story started with obstacles even before I was born. See, my parents made the 647-mile journey by foot from war toward Sudan to Ethiopia while my mother was pregnant with me. That was the first obstacle that I had ever overcome, even before birth. And then, in 1993, I survived a famine that was brought on by drought and human rights abuse. 
Again, my family and thousands of other South Sudanese families walked for months to safety. Picking up traumas along the way, but they held on to the hope that someday there will be a better life somewhere. We arrived to a refugee camp in Kenya, and eventually we were lucky enough to come to America in 1995. That was when my family finally had a shot at a new life. The hope that carried them from country to country was finally a reality. I am my community's wildest dream. Just because we made it to the land of opportunity does not mean that the fight was over. I had the dream of attending university, being the first in my family to attend university at that. But it always felt like nothing more but a distant wish. So, if you too are the first to attend college in your family, then I get it. I know how it feels to get to college and there are people around you that just make it seem so effortless. At times I felt like an imposter. What was I doing here? I didn't have any examples within my family. But I set those thoughts aside and I kept at it. We kept at it. You knew what you wanted and with no prior example within your family, you spent years working hard. And today, you are that first example within your family. You made it. If you're fortunate enough to have prior examples within your family, you still did the work. You showed up when that class was too early for your liking. You made the choice to commit semester after semester. You did the work, even if you barely got that assignment in at 11.58 p.m. A win is a win. A win is a win. If you're a non-traditional student, I understand that sometimes feeling left behind starting late or finishing late can be overwhelming. I once let those doubts win, but I came back, I saw, and today we conquered. We put years of work and finally we sit here at the end of this journey. When you start your new chapter, whatever that may be, Remember that despite all of the doubts, all of the mistakes, all of the setbacks, you overcame and you landed right here in this seat on this day. From now on, when self-doubt when self consumes you, let this accomplishment be a reminder to you that you can accomplish anything you firmly commit to. We don't know what the future holds, but you must always have faith in yourself. You must always ask yourself, why not me? You must always take that leap of faith into the unknown. It just might work out in your favor, but you won't know unless you try. So graduates, I leave you with this saying, which I hope will carry you through tough times like it has for me. Life does not care about your circumstances. Life demands that you adjust and adapt. And the fact that you did, the fact that you're sitting here today means you did just that. And I hope that you continue on the path that is most meant for you. Because there is no doubt we made it. So thank you and congratulations.
thank you so much for sharing your testimony. It's one of many. On behalf of the more than 29,000 Missouri Western alumni, I congratulate you on your great accomplishment. You will soon join alumni across the nation and across the world, all of whom have the same thing in common. We are all proud alumni of Missouri Western. Over the last four or five years, you have made memories that will last a lifetime and develop lasting friendships. From this moment on, your lives will change. You will find jobs in what I hope will be your chosen career field. Some of you will marry, move out of state, have children and grandchildren. You will grow apart but never separate from your college friends. They will always be on your Facebook, for those of us who are a little older, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and whatever social media tool lies ahead of us. Your memories of Missouri Western, faculty members, the night study sessions, and late night chats with your friends are etched in your heart and in your mind forever. Remember, this is home and you'll always be welcomed back here with open arms. After you walked across the stage, you were handed an alumni pin as a gift from the Missouri Western Alumni Association. We hope that you will wear it proudly to show everyone you will forever be a Griffin. Some of you are legacy students and are wearing an antique gold legacy cord to honor your parents or grandparents that are Griffins too. So now here it is. The transforming moment you have all been waiting for. Will the members of the class of 2022 please rise. To signify your accomplishment and your change in status from student to alumni, please move your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left, placing them over your heart. Congratulations and welcome to the Missouri Western State University Alumni Association. seated. Well, 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 well. Hello, class of 2022. This is awesome. So let me add my congratulations to the many you've heard and will hear today. Uh, our speakers, Naja Khan and Representative Shields, have given you words to reflect upon, words of wisdom to be your compass and guide to guide you when challenges arise words of inspiration to create hope when circumstances dare you to dream, and words of joy to be ever mindful of all the good that is present in your life, no matter what. Graduates, today is your day when you look forward with excitement and backward with nostalgia, because isn't that how we measure progress? By looking at where we've been and where we're headed toward, and each and every one of you can now say, look at how far I've come. But you haven't done it alone. In fact, graduates, if you would, it's time to take a moment and really thank those who've helped you read this. So if you would, please stand, face your loved ones, families, and friends in the audience, and let's give them a round of applause. So let me simply close with this. Graduates, take a few moments today and really be in the moment. Celebrate your achievements and the realization of your many goals and aspirations. Breathe it all in. Remember that you are a griffin, 
You are part of our Griffin family, and Missouri Western will always be home for you. I believe the saying goes, once a Griffin, always a Griffin, right? That's what we say. So, with the pride of our entire Griffin family, my heartfelt congratulations to you. We are almost done. We're so close. So at this time, if you would, I invite everyone to please stand and join us in singing our alma mater, performed by Dr. Elise Hepworth, Vice Provost and Assistant Vice President for Academic Affairs. She will be accompanied by the Missouri Western Symphonic Wings. You will find the words to our alma mater printed on the back inside cover of your program. Please be seated. Thank, I know we're almost there, I promise, I promise. I got three lines, that's all I gotta do. So, thank you, thank you all for coming today without our families and our loved ones and our friends. It would not be as meaningful as it is for our graduates. So thank you for joining us. As we conclude the ceremony, if you would, we ask that our guests please remain seated until the platform faculty, or platform party, the faculty and our new graduates have exited the arena. The Alumni Association invites you to join us for a brief reception honoring our new graduates. This will be in the small gym just down the hall after the ceremony. Again, congratulations and let the celebrations begin. Yeah.